Happy Holidays. That's our topic for today's Backstage Pass. Well, hey, friends, I hope you had a wonderful weekend this weekend. Happy holidays. Stocks, though, are maybe not so happy today. Stocks are down. Mortgage bonds are down as well. As we move into the afternoon extended trading hours and overnight sessions, we're bringing you a little bit of a later update here today. It's just been a busy day. But as we move into these later sessions, again, you know, stocks and bonds aren't too happy right now. So what's going on? Well, first of all, mortgage bonds are down about 42 basis points here on the day. The 10-year yield is up about 11 basis points. The national average for conventional 30-year fixed rate mortgage that ended the week last week at about 6.13%, but based on market movement today, we're expecting that to come in worse by the end of the day today, probably somewhere closer to 6.3%. And look, bottom line is that Last week was a very busy week. This week's going to be somewhat quiet week. We do have some news coming out this week. We've got housing data and builder data from the National Association of Home Builders. We also get PCE data, but you know the PCE data has already really been priced into the market via the CPI data that we that we got last week. So we don't expect it to move the market that much. So really what we have going on is a lot of range finding, sideways trading, uh, and really, we just have, you know, uh, kind of a, what we call holiday trading. So many of the investors that are trading in the bond market, uh, some of them are, are making year-end moves. Some of them are making before-the-year start moves, so pre-positioning for next year. And uh, many more of them are just done for the holidays. They're just out for the rest of the year. So, so we expect to see the same kind of sideways trading continue. Today, we were down and it was really more about nothing than about anything down today tomorrow we could be up by the same amount uh, we just expect to see some sideways trading and we'll keep you updated as it happens a couple of other, a couple of other notes for federal holidays all right so uh, christmas and new year's day both fall on a sunday this year as federal holidays that means that their observed day will be the following day on monday not on the previous Friday. So what that means is that Monday, December 26th, that is Christmas Day observed as a federal holiday. And Monday, January 2nd, well, that, that is New Year's Day observed as a federal holiday. On those holidays, banks will be closed, markets will be closed. Those are considered the observed day for those federal holidays. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. Remember, stay positive, have a great week, happy holidays, but we'll see you tomorrow.